count them as seven. Number one, and there are uh, all good pieces. Her name is Po. Second one, uh, Alma. Third one, Guha. Fourth one, Sarabong. Fifth one, Minuet. And sixth one is G. Are you going to play the whole suite? Yeah, but it's not going to like repeat it again. <laughs>
<laughs> um, that was very, 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 very good. Um, when did you, how old are you now? How, uh, at what age did you start? Uh, yeah, so many years. You've only been playing for two years? <laughs> uh, how, much time, how much time do you, do you work a day? Well, I'm from Korea and I just arrived here uh, like nine months ago. Uh -huh. So, uh, Korea, uh, I really love guitar, so every 
they use words in my heart. Like, mm-hmm. I love it. But here, uh, I first started to play classical song at Chia. Mm-hmm. And it's my first uh, uh, competition. Yeah, so, mm-hmm. yeah, I love the guitar. Yeah, I can tell you love the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> but you still haven't answered my question. How many hours do you practice a day? Uh, well, it depends. I, I don't know really because because I really love to read books also. So <laughs> guitar is not my like really first hobby. But so sometimes you put in a lot of time. Yeah. Sometimes sometimes not so much time. Right? <laughs> Whenever you feel like it. Yes. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> um, I'm going to treat you like a student that's who, who's a lot older okay. than your age. So if I say things a particular way, don't, don't, okay. take, don't take it the wrong way. Um, you have, uh, you've done a tremendous amount of work in very little time, so congratulations. Uh, what is m- the most impressive thing at your age and with your level of experience is also the understanding of the music, the understanding of the pacing of the music the understanding of the mood of the music. I wasn't bored at all through this performance. I was, uh, when you said you were going to play the entire cello suite for us, I was, okay, well, let's do this. <laughs> but it went by like this, so congratulations. That, that is a hard thing to do, to keep your audience motivated. And one of the, 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 the hardest things to do to motivate an audience is to convey to them what the emotion of the piece is. So my next question to you is, who have you been listening to? Oh, well, I use lots of YouTube videos yeah. to work on. I know, YouTube's awesome. <laughs> well, my mother is major is piano, mm. so... Well, that um, makes sense. My mother and I and father love to like, listen to cello, mm-hmm. violin, Okay. So, did you did you listen to a particular cellist when you were working on this suite? No, just I listened to the to just the CD at first. Yeah. So at first I went like. But just who's in who's the c- who's playing on the CD? Well, I have lots of CD like I don't know how to pronounce in English, but yeah. it's Rostro Pop. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Peter Wispervin. Yeah. Yeah and yeah. <laughs> awesome. That's exactly what you should be doing, and you're doing it. Your biggest efficiencies are your right hand yes. and the tension connected to your right hand. The reason that you're sticking your pinky out is because there's tension somewhere. And so you have to figure out where this tension is coming from. It might be your sitting position, it might be your sitting position, it might be your arms and shoulders, it could also be just be nervous, you're just nervous, right? But you have to start thinking about this tension that you have in your pinky. It's, it's a habit that is very, very difficult to relax. It's very difficult to break, also, once you learn to play this way. Um, the other thing that you do a lot is the repetition of a finger. Sometimes I notice, though, that you're repeating a finger for all the right reasons. <laughs> because you're, uh, you're, I guess you're doing this by ear, unless there's a teacher somewhere teaching you this. But the reason we will repeat a finger consecutively on guitar is to get the same exact attack, the same tone, the same everything, because the music calls for it. So what I think you're doing is you're doing this by ear. So you're guiding your right hand to what you want your right hand to do. That's the right way to go about it. I actually teach my seat, my university students this. You know, if you can hear it, your right hand will do it. But you have to be able to hear it. Obviously, you're hearing something that you want to translate here, and you're doing it well. However, sometimes it becomes in you a habit. Be careful of repeating the same finger twice consecutively because it might enable you to trip up. For instance, in the curante, when you play the curante, you're having A, contrapuntally it's very difficult, but also the right hand is very difficult there. And one of the reasons you were having a certain difficulties is because you're doing things like this. Right? So you need to be careful about this. The other thing is your thumb. You've got a very well-placed right hand in general, but your thumb tends to prepare itself sometimes a little bit too soon, so you're cutting off a voice. And sometimes you've got the thumb rested on the bass strings just because, right? 
I feel that this is probably a technique that you did at one point because you felt more secure, right? You have to free up the right hand. The right hand has to be free to do many, many things. And the sooner that you relax the right hand and learn to free it up, the more better music you're going to do, right? Um, 